Alrighty, boys. We're doing Dob in a rare unit. Now, this is a classic of the TCB genre. We haven't done this in maybe years, potentially. A year and a half, probably. Yeah. So we're running back here with Jace um, because he's probably got plenty of rare units in his cricketing life. But (laughs) we'll start off with your listeners' missions. The first one is this. I saw a person cutting and washing fruit in a public toilet. <laughs> That's fucked. That, what? Like, uh, imagine if this was like town hall or central yeah, section toilet and you walk in there. Oh. Washing fruit, I think, is low-key okay. It's the cutting where I really <laughs> yeah, take issue. Are you putting it on the, like, the sink? Yeah, and you got a knife on you as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel, like, I feel like there's always some person at cricket who brings the cut oranges or the sliced watermelon. Yeah. yeah. Someone yeah. has to do that in cricket, right? Yeah. So- that is so rare. But though. they're not doing it in a public bathroom. <laughs> they're not doing it in a public bathroom. No also, way. heroes, like we have some people who bring like oranges and watermelons to like our games. Yeah. And absolute lifesavers, I've got to watermelons say. Watermelons on the innings break. Oh, that's some of the juiciest stuff that I've did. <laughs> Incredible. The sugar will put that on the back on the ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At my last job, I saw a guy who would often brush his teeth in like the work bathrooms after mm. lunch. I've seen that as well. It's pretty common, I think. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty common. Oh, I used to judge this guy right, so hard. hard. Yeah. Let's play on. Let's play on. Okay. Brushing your teeth. Yeah. I think, I think, look, I think there's certain etiquette that you can have in a public bathroom. And I feel like anything that you do at home or that you should do at home, you shouldn't do it in public bathrooms. Brush your teeth included. Mate, why are you doing it there? Do it at home. Nah, some people just like to brush it after lunch, you know? Mm. I, I think that's fine. But yeah. Cut, Bro, he's got the full electric toothbrush as well, man. <laughs> the yeah, the Oral B 3000. <laughs> Is he charging it there as well? Yeah. <laughs> She's probably got the dock at his desk. <laughs> a couple more uh, bathroom reunions. These are actually right. my favorite genre. I love the bathroom units. Re- re- right, we've got, there was a kid in my school who got fully naked to pee in the urinals, <laughs> like shoes and all. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild, man. I, I will say I have wolf fight. <laughs> Fully naked. <laughs> Why are the shoes? <laughs> That's the one that like put your feet. Because yeah. people miss the urinal. Yeah. Oh. Like, get the shoes on, man. Shoes on. Because I've seen an extent which is like half. Like they're in the cubicle and they drop the pants and they're, mm. they're pissing. And you walk by and you're like, that's still pretty fucked up. No, it, it is weird. <laughs> it's weird. You don't need to do it. Like what? Does that make it more accurate? Like what, what does it do? <laughs> I'll put my hand up here. No, no, so no way. No, no. Sometimes if I'm taking a dump, the shirt's coming off. And so I am sometimes sitting in the- That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, if Wait. it's in a public bathroom, no, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Wait, but why? To, to Kush's point, does it help with the aim or something? No, like for example, if I'm wearing a shirt, like a dress shirt, that's long. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's I'm, fine. Okay. Man, I'm worried, bro. I thought like you're wearing an Airism t-shirt and you're taking that <laughs> off. <too. laughs> the Uniqlo comes yeah. off, bro. <laughs> But, so I can't look. I don't know if that makes me rare. Yes, for doing the, yeah, yeah, that's pretty weird. But then, obviously, the urinal—that's <laughs> just outrageous. That's ridiculous. So uh, imagine you walk into the urinal. This guy's calmly pulling down his pants, <laughs> yeah. take, untying his shoes, <laughs> nicely placing it to the side of Socks the urinal. Off as well. <laughs> Socks off. <laughs> imagine if there's no divider between. No, like- he has to be because otherwise, is he taking it off at his outside and then walking in? <laughs> Yeah, no, no. So he's right. standing there at the U. Something that should take 30 seconds. He's <laughs> taking 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, what about the aftermath as well? Where he's done, he's going to put everything <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, the other one, actually, because you mentioned it. Uh, this bloke witnessed a man pull down his pants below his buttocks. We had someone, so you restoried that one. And then another listener replied saying, this is actually normal behavior. And I replied saying, brother, this is not normal <laughs> no, behavior not normal. <laughs> at all. Your pants have, they've been designed for you to do it without pulling them down. <laughs> you, you don't need to pull so them down. The guy who replied said, oh, I have a pair of really tight shorts that won't <laughs> let me get my member out. So I have to pull the entire thing down. Oh, right, right, I hear it. All right, mate. <laughs> uh, all right. So, so far we're going three from three rare. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, yeah they're pretty, rare. All of them are rare. Okay, next one is I witnessed a bloke take his four chickens and his goat outside a walk, outside a shopping center. <laughs> what? Just hit the ones that he had, like just at home, he's taking them for a walk. So he's, he's going to the shops and he's obviously need to take the goat for a walk, <laughs> but he thought, oh, why not? I'll bring the chooks as well. Do chickens need a walk? <laughs> what are they getting out of it? Goats? 
I'm, like, I'm not. I'm not like goat shepherd, but like I, I, I've never seen a goat. I think like, they just call regular shepherds, brother. <laughs> 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 oh, but like the chickens, like like they have a collar, like yeah, they, like hey, the what? leash, right? Yeah, yeah. How do you do it. How's that working? I Maybe it's a bit of free reign. No, 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 they have to. <laughs> <Rage talk. Yeah. laughs> no, I reckon they've got to have the leash on. Surely that's that's outrageous if they don't. You can't be letting them loose. At but the like, where center. do you put the leash on the chicken? Around the neck. Oh, but well then what if you like choke the chicken well, out? Yeah, because isn't it really soft there compared yeah. to like, you know, a, a pet, like a cat. But also, what leash are you, are you just tying a rope? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like leash a is fitting around, yeah, what leash is fitting around a chicken's neck? <laughs> I, I walk my cat from time to time. I've seen that a few times. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. With a leash? With a leash, yeah. Yeah. And then I think Manu, maybe someone told a story ages ago about this bloke walking a banana. Do you remember that? What? Yeah, that was, wasn't oh, that, yeah. I think that was Manu. No, it wasn't. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're saying rare for that as well. Yeah, that's yeah. rare, man. All right, next up. Saw a bloke at Chat Thai scooping dog food biscuits out of his backpack into his food. Say that again? So he's gotten, he's gotten his dog food biscuits. Yeah. And then I guess scooping the rice and curry and eating the- With the dog food. With the dog food. Is he taking a bite? Like <laughs> with the biscuit? That's what they say. I'm, I'm not saying that's like more rare, but like that's <laughs> that's pretty that's wild. It's a BYOD, bring your own dog food. Have you ever man. thought of <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought of eating your dog food, bro? I ate dog food literally two weeks ago. <laughs> not my own. So okay, uh, let me tell you this yarn, yeah. So okay, I'm not like saying it's a rare unit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just open to experience, right? So we were playing um we were playing poker. Mine, I think I sent you this snap, right? We were playing poker and the forfeit was if you if you lose. You've got to eat dog food. Okay. I didn't lose. I came through. <laughs> <laughs> oh but God. my mate tried it and he, and he did me a little bit dirty because he kind of sold it. He was like, he was like mm, yeah. <laughs> that's classic though. Yeah, yeah, no. bait. But I was like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll give it a go just to have like one little like kibble, like a little bit of kibble. So wait, was it was dry or wet dog food? Not nah, dry. I okay. wouldn't eat wet food, dog food. Okay. And thoughts? No good, mate. It's exactly how you think it tastes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is outrageous to go to chat Thai and then just what? <laughs> just pull out like, you know, your schmackos, <laughs> pour, it, pour it into your pad Thai. Yeah. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Yeah. That's- oh, isn't that shit like not good for you as well? well like, it's not a, safe to eat. That. There's a new company, like a new startup. They do like human grade dog food and all their ads are, um, are them eating the dog food and like saying what? how good it is. That's ridiculous. Well, what's the point of this? I don't. Who who are they selling it to? Well, yeah. well, people Maybe like, you, because you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, but you have standards, though. You're like no wet dog food, dry. You're considering the the so Leica is the company. <laughs> okay. They they do wet dog food, and and it's human grade. So it's like, and I think it's for people who like really care about their pets' like health. Do you know what I mean? Because I get that you can give human food to dogs, so why can't you do the other way around? Well, no, no, it's not for you. It's for the dogs. It's still human food. But you said for it's the human dogs. grade, though. Yeah, it's human grade. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any pets, Jace? I don't, but I'm back to this point here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's rallying me here. <laughs> I don't have any pets, but I'm just thinking so, human grade dog food, like, okay, inflation, right? Mm. Groceries are expensive these days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, Ro, are you potentially buying this, looking at like this and maybe someone else and going, that tastes pretty good, and it's two for one. <laughs> I nah. could have the Ingham's chicken breast. <laughs> yeah. or, or, or the liver pate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Rose's nah. mum at home puts down the food to, for the Harley and then puts down the food for you as well. <laughs> what, what, what? Gets on all fours. You're on all fours eating next to him. <laughs> <laughs> good boy, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a line that I wouldn't cross. But like Miggs's dog here, he eats on a plate. Like he eats mm. human food on a plate. He won't eat dog food. He'll eat rice and like, you know, tuna and stuff like yeah. that. So like for picky pets like that, anyway, whatever. I'm not sponsored or shilling this brand, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's a market for it. But Still going, rare. But going back to the original dog food in Thai food. No. Nah. <laughs> what, what do you think? If you had to eat dog food with a cuisine, mm. do you think Thai food is the way to go? I'm choosing like hot pot, like Chinese hot pot, because I want something really spicy that masks the flavor of the dog food. Well, don't you want something to enhance the flavor of the dog no. food? No, because I'm seeing it as a punishment. You seem to see it as some sort of, you know, <laughs> enjoyment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, as in like using it as cutlery and biting. Mm. 
I don't know if I'm saying Lords of the Soil my, in the motherland. Am I going to the motherland? Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting like some some mad vindaloo that's going to burn my mouth off so yeah. that I can't actually taste it. I think that's biscuit. the way to go. I think it's got to be with like some sort of liquid I'm feeling. It's got to be like, I don't know, some like soup what, or like hot broth. Yeah. Uh, it just goes down easy. You know what I mean? Still unbelievably rare. All right, boys. I, I've got I've got a rare unit. So <sighs> my parents used to, we used to actually own, we own Indian restaurants mm. back home in Newcastle. Shout out Raj's Corner. <laughs> 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 got to. Put the plug in somewhere. So Beautiful. every time you go to Newcastle, yeah, go there for Indian food. So this is one guy, ex cricketer actually. Oh, okay. Former ex cricketer. Um, played for New South Wales, played for Australia. I'm going to leave it at that. And he'd come in, come into the restaurant. And, you know, when I was young, mum would be like, oh, he's downstairs. Do you want to, do you want to come, you want to come to the shop? And like, I always be up in the shop studying because we're brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have to study. <laughs> so I come down and he'd be sitting there and he'd be like, oh, get out, youngster. I'm like, yeah, put it there, mate. And um, then I like, obviously let him have his food. I'm not going to sit there and just like, <laughs> Indian food, like get a bit messy sometimes, yeah. you know, hands and everything. So anyways, but before he started to eat his food, every time it was. No. And then gets into it. <laughs> what? There He's is no, spitting on his hands. Because like in cricket, like. You, you see Steve Smith. He's like, yes, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like always like. On the gloves, though, let's break no, face. No, on his hands. No, but no, on his hands. In the field. Yeah, in the that field. is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is hands, true. On his hands. Get a bit of moisture. This bloke <laughs> would go tss, tss, bang and then sometimes be like, have a good day. And then eat his food. And I'm sitting there just <laughs> <What>? like. <laughs> and let's be real. Like, yeah. it was, there was no like COVID in. 2007. Yeah. yeah. So like, what are you doing? You're just gonna, you're just gonna. Oh yeah, oh, sweet as this is this guy's like hand. Like, how good is this? <laughs> yeah. So spits on his food every time before he eats. What? <laughs> this guy's got an automatic answer that ties around his mouth, <laughs> dude. That's muscle memory just that's from exactly years of say. cricket. Yeah. yeah. But that's crazy. This is before he tucks in. Just so like, yeah. Every like, meal. At, at the start, it was like shake of hand, like how you going, mate? And then he was a bit, he was a bit rare. <laughs> and then he'd like have a bit of a chat, and I'd be like, oh, like you know, I love cricket, whatever. And then he'd go, and then I obviously leave him alone. I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, 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 disturb. Like, enjoy your food. He'd just go, tss, tss. he go, mate, really Dang. nice to meet you, mate. And then, <laughs> oh, before you shook your hand as well. No, so he's already shaking my hand, and yeah. then another shake my hand and say, <laughs> see you later. Like, yeah. take care. I like, get, yeah, mate, all the best, all the best here. So spit, spit, rub, <laughs> shake oh. my hand, spit, spit, none. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there just like, no way. Like, and this guy's like, he's a, he's a bit of a legend. So I'm just like, should I like? Yeah. So I've been doing that before I, before I tuck into like my butter chicken. Did you ever say like, sir, we have a tap over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dead all, dead all and like yeah. hand sanitizer must have been a thing. But yeah, like genuinely spit, spits on his hands before he's eight. And then he came a couple of times and mom was like, mm. oh, he's down again. I'm like, <laughs> like <that. laughs> I'm doing my homework. I'm yeah. studious. So he studious. rubs your hair. He's like, go well, youngster. Like does one of those on the spit hands. It's, it, it's also Indian food. Like, mm. cause notoriously you are using your hands more yeah. often in Indian food than anything else. So. Like you said, the naan bread. If there was anything else, maybe a bit of noodles, Thai food, fork, you're all good. Yeah. Did you ever see him do the spit spit to any white people? Was it just to, you know, what? you and Raj's corner? You know, oh, your dad. Is your dad's name Raj? No, it's not actually. So who the hell's Raj? <laughs> he's a he's a mythological creature. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but the shop is actually well, we have it's a it's a chain now in Newcastle. But the first one was actually on a corner. Yeah. But man, everyone calls my dad. Everyone calls my dad's name uh, Raj. So it's like, oh Raj, how you doing? And he's just like, oh yeah, how's it going? Gotcha. So okay. there you go. But yeah, like. Spitting on your hands before you eat food. I'm going to say that's pretty rare. That's unbelievably rare. <laughs> yeah. I think it's also the, he, he gave you the times two combo, man. <laughs> he gave you the handshake, then the food. He also, he also had times two combo on his meal. Like, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the butter chicken as well. That's a times yeah. two combo. When well. you were, did you ever think of doing it back to him? It's like, oh, <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> Surely that, that, that's the eye opener for him. Yeah. His muscle memory's yeah, exactly. like, wait a sec, what are you like, doing? Like, what the yeah. fuck did this kid just do? <laughs> So I'm just copying you. No, because like you always like, you know, emulate your hero. Exactly. Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> so Jason went to school the next day. Hey, <laughs> hey miss. Canteen with a meat pie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rogue. That's so good. Uh, All yeah, right. I've got one more. One more rare unit. This particular bloke, every time we go out, we're having a good night, he will constantly do the Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like I'm talking, it is like top, it is top forty at bungalow away, and it's like who knows? Taylor Swift is playing, right? So it's like love stories on. Yeah, he's just whipping it out. 
Like, man, come on. Like at, at the at, like at the start, like when we first got to know each other, at the start, it was like, <laughs> like how funny is this? Mm. At 2 a.m., it's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, yeah. that's enough. The next week, two years down the line, it's not funny. Like it gets to a point. It gets to a point now. We're just like, oh, he started. Let's go. <laughs> is, it, is it once a night, or is he doing it multiple, it multiple times? No. So it's like, as the night goes on, yeah. and the more intoxicated he becomes, <laughs> yeah. it is constant. It's like it's just like it becomes like a game. Like at the start of the night, like when we're all there, we're just like, wait, like we reckon. Yeah. What time? It's, it's bull slot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we reckon it's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna say ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, I feel like I feel like once he once he gets drunk enough. I reckon he just has like the Macarena song playing in his head, <laughs> just like on repeat and he can't stop. But I, just, I don't get it. It's like, he must not have any other dance moves. Yeah. It's not like just like little, just like, you know, like little side to side. It's just bang, <laughs> start and we're just like, just let him go. Does he do the full rotation? Like he goes left, right, everything. <laughs> and, and then he just goes back to like whatever normally. Oh, so he just like, as if nothing happened. So he just slips it in. He just, he goes, oh boys, here we go. <laughs> oh, and okay. I'm just like, oh man. But like, I just feel like it, they get to a point where I'm just like, at how many drinks does that happen? Mm. I don't know, but what happens every like every time it gets old quick, eh? Is that like is that a bit rare or is that I, just? I disagree. I think it's hilarious. You think it's? I, I think it's so funny. We haven't seen it. We haven't seen it. My poor man here's been seeing it. <laughs> that's true. Once a week for around eight hundred days. All yeah, right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but you're just describing it. That's. That's comedy to me. No, no, that's comedy the first time. Yeah, exactly. Second time, second yeah. time. Ah, classic. Bring it I out the way I was, the way I was imagining it, it was like you know he has like his eyes start rolling into the back of his head and he's like possessed, possessed, and then he starts doing it. <laughs> possessed like, oh, by the macro. Like, snaps out of his like. like it's like we like like we've told him we're like, oh right, man, no, no bloody dancing of his macarena bullshit. Like, <laughs> let's just have a good night. He's like, yeah, 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 like. 12.30 comes by yeah. and there's a song that he likes. It's not like, it, it could be Nutbush. Mm. And he's doing- <laughs> One of these ones. He's doing yeah. one of these ones, like wrong steps, man. Oh, Maybe dude. it's just Tourette's, just like a tick <laughs> <laughs> on a night out. <laughs> nah, because I have like classic dance moves that I like go back to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still like in the beat of the song. Correct. You know I mean? I'm, not, yeah. I'm not pulling out another move, you know. That's why not, I think it's yeah. hilarious. Really? I, I think it's pretty funny. What was funny though, actually one night we were at, uh, I can't remember where we were, Macarena came on. Yeah. That was the only time it was funny. Yeah. yeah. You know what would have been funny if he didn't do the Macarena <laughs> yeah. dance? Yeah. Does yeah. anyone know this song? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know this song? Yeah. How do you dance this? Then it would have been hilarious. <laughs> okay. We move on to the next one. Uh, when it's hungry and it's late in the hotel room, I use the iron to heat a sandwich into a toasty. So look, I don't go to hotel rooms much, but Jace, man, you must be on the hotel grind a lot. Yeah. You ever, you ever tried this one? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm the rain, but that's genius. And you think it's genius? No way. I actually, as in you like the toasty and yeah. the iron on top? On top, yeah. <sighs> I feel like you've misread the room here, Jace. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, back it, back it, let's see. Oh, jeez. Right, talk us through this genius. Is, 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 okay, I, I, I know I said I had above average banter, but this is, I think I'm above average rarity. Yeah, okay. join me. I'm not saying that like, I'm talking last, Possible resort. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting a dead old wipe. Yeah. I'm wiping the shit out of that that front <laughs> of the iron. <laughs> and maybe just like your dog food, maybe I'm just saying if it works. What are you putting it on? Cotton? You know, maybe a bit of linen <laughs> first. Or- <laughs> well, you know how like sand- <laughs> you know how you use like those like when you when you grill a sandwich, it has, yeah. has those lines. You yeah. use those ironing boards. It's kind of, they, got, they, got, they got like a couple the of dots. The yeah, dots. Yeah. Yeah. Do you press the steam? <laughs> A couple of tss, tss, tss. Let's get a bit more moisture. Would Look, it be more it's, efficient it's, like than a toaster? There's no way. Dude. No, but like it's a last resort. Like obviously- yeah, it's a last resort, yeah. I think it's a one-time thing. I'm definitely not doing it like, I'm not going to go home and be like, yeah. I want a toaster and I'm get my iron out. <laughs> yeah. But like, if it's some like you just like craving, absolute craving, like, yeah. all right, man, fair play. Go for it. Because it will do the job. It'll absolutely do the job. Yeah, yeah. we're not denying the physics yeah. of it. Yeah, it's it's just, will do the job. Yeah, it's just heat, bro. Yeah, you just- Plant it down. It'll do but it. But like on regular, no. Just go go to Kmart and get, yeah. and get a Buy sandwich it. press. Man. Like 20 bucks. Also, hotels usually I feel like would have- They would. They toasters, would. Toasters, no? Like, <laughs> no, but you can't put yeah. a toasty into a toaster. You need like the sandwich That's press. That's true. Yeah. Sandwich yeah. press. Yeah. Sandwich yeah. press. Yeah. yeah. Imagine like the cheese getting on the iron. Like what are you going to do after? Oh, well, you well, didn't have to your use problem. it. So yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this one's a bit of a long one, boys. So strap in. So this is actually from Streaker. I'll shout him out because he's a friend of the show and he's been listening to us from day one. But he writes, hey, TCB. Been loving your recent Frisbee tomfoolery. It's genuinely been top tier content. Now, 
I'm here to dob in an absolute rare unit I came across in exchange that genuinely blew my mind. So it's the first couple of days of my exchange and I'm linking up with some of the Aussie exchange people to get to know the city better and go for lunch. By the way, I'm in Newcastle. Represent. <laughs> no, I think you're Newcastle, England. <laughs> <laughs> My man went on exchange up the road. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours north. But um, yeah, by the way, I'm in Newcastle, England. <laughs> we were waiting outside my building for the rest of the Aussies and busy talking when this random guy emerged out of nowhere and genuinely Naruto runs past us. He then puts on the brakes and slowly backs up to me and says, hi, my name is Jack. I just landed here from Hong Kong today. You want to see? <laughs> Not even a hi or a hello. He just straight whips out his passport and shows us his immigration stamp. And I'm just standing like, uh, WTF is going on here. Then this random guy forcefully adds himself to our group and goes out to lunch with us and follows us around the city like an extremely bad smell. <laughs> While exploring the city, I'm talking to him. And in the back of my head, I'm thinking this guy's perfect rare unit material for the TCB lads. During this thought, he then randomly asked me, do you guys watch hentai in Sydney? <laughs> Absolutely dumbfounded with this statement. I went, yeah, I think there's a couple of people that get around it back home. <laughs> <laughs> to which he replies the craziest statement I've ever heard in my life. Oh, that's cool. I only listen to it. It's the sound that's the best part for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. Then later he requests me on Instagram and scrolled through his account and saw that his captions in his posts are extremely long and quite detailed and in Chinese. So I hit the translate button to see what they were. It seemed like it was some fictional stories he wrote. After some investigation, I later irrevocably found out what it really was. Apparently, his captions are snippets from a smut novel he's been creating since he arrived here, and he uses the names of people that he has met as characters in the novel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ever since I learned that information, I've seen extremely clear from this guy in hopes of not ending up in his novel <laughs> and did not follow him back on Insta. He apparently also goes to classes wearing blazers and ties, as I've heard from people who are in classes with him. Man, that is next level. Oh, That's yeah. Imagine crazy. like one day he's going through Instagram, Shri Karan. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can't, does he have a link to the full book that the guy wrote? <laughs> I should read that on the podcast. That is pretty crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> the best part is he's whipped out his passport. He's like, Yo, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not illegal. I got here legitimately. I mean, there's almost one pack here. Yeah, where do you start? Yeah, where do you start? <laughs> Firstly, I'll ask you, Jace, ever dabbled in hentai? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently it's like, yeah, I think I think it goes around Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a couple of friends. Yeah, 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 got a few mates. <laughs> yeah, what is your point of choice? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, you can't ask that. You can't <laughs> ask that? Okay, fine. <laughs> No. Oh, we're geez. a G-rated oh, podcast. Me, click on. Sorry, <laughs> man of the classics. I love the um the part where he's like Naruto on, and he, he backed up. So like, mm. was he his hand still back? No, your hands have to come out in front. His hands had to come out in front while he was doing the Naruto on backwards. I don't know. You could listen to hentai. You can really listen to anything, can't you? But I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I thought hentai was. Now nah, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought hentai was all visual porn. Like, did you read it? No, no, it's just a cartoon. Oh, okay. Fair enough then. So this guy's he's a revolutionary. He's mm. changing the format. He's moving <laughs> to auditory instead of the visual. Yeah, dude, this yeah. guy's a budding author and we're just here slandering him. Yeah, let's let's talk about the I mean, it's so inspirational he's writing a novel about people he's met on exchange. That's actually quite a heartwarming story. I would actually want to be a character in his story. Oh, you would. Wow. Yeah. That's for the hopes of one day that book gets published. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like get rid of the well, well, Sam, we used to read smut in chemistry class back in the day. Do you remember reading Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> when that Jesus. first came out, we had a little bit of a- Yeah, uh, dude, year 9, 10, 11, wide reading in English. I'm like, oh, I don't have a book, but I had the PDF of Fifty Shades Grey, <laughs> Fifty Shades Darker. I had all three books and then me and Miguel used to sit there and read Fifty Shades of Grey in the middle of English. <laughs> So there's a, there's a budding market for the smart industry. So maybe this guy, you know, is, knows what he's doing. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> say no man. Yeah, that's that's some that's some rash shit. Yeah. yeah, that's some. Oh, actually, well, I'm a bit worried about this guy. Like, yeah, yeah. There's actually something like not right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, wearing a blazer and tie to class as well is a bit of a red flag. Well, that's flag. I think that's all right. But like, I think I think I think just not knowing what 
Do you think blazer and tighter class is fine? Yeah, different cultural backgrounds, you know what I mean? Maybe yeah. it's in school in Hong Kong, they dress formally. Okay, fine, fair enough. Yeah. But I, I feel like, uh, I feel like, I don't know, where I see the rogue part, obviously hentai aside, let's just- <laughs> let's just, This is one part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Park that for a second. <laughs> but I think like, isn't it the worst when like people that you don't really, like oh. who, can't, who can't get a hint, like they can't take a hint. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think this guy might be slightly on the spectrum, maybe a bit acoustic. Mm. Yeah. So like he's not picking up on those social signals, but I do agree. Like someone who you don't know that well and they try and like latch on. Yeah. That does irk me but quite a bit. But he's trying to be friends. Yeah. I mean, he's like in a new country trying to like- yeah, He's just trying. But why, why can't you just tell one of those people like just to you know, fuck off? Is that not allowed? Well, especially if they're not, if they're on the spectrum, I feel like that's extremely like, oh, you can't know do that. that yet, well, we have media trained Jason over here. Yeah. <laughs> What's the etiquette there? Well, I was going to say, this is definitely the type of bloke that's taking always clothes off in the urinal. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like blazer, red tie, like all that stuff's coming off. Yeah, exactly. you're, all, you're right. Actually, people who watch hentai and people who take off their clothes, it's a Venn diagram. It's just a circle. It's one circle. One circle. They're one in the right same. <laughs> but rare. Yes. That's one of the rarest ones we've heard in a while. Yeah, that's a big yeah. one. We haven't heard. Yeah, it's a toughie. But look, thank you everyone for writing in. Really appreciate the rare unit segments. And thanks for having a laugh with us.